Welcome to July 7th, Daily Devotion. O Lord, let my soul rise up to meet you, as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. The song today is, I Will Trust in the Lord. Uh, this one was a little hard for me to sing, so I included a link in the email that you got with this video uh, so you can listen to Reverend Franklin sing it rather than me. So if you want to pause the video, go back to the email and listen to Reverend Franklin sing I Will Trust in the Lord, that'd be great. Welcome back. Quiet our troubled souls, O Lord with peace that passes understanding. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret yourself over the one who prospers, the one who succeeds in evil schemes. Refrain from anger, leave rage alone. Do not fret yourself, it leads only to evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those who wait upon the Lord shall possess the land. Quiet our troubled souls, O Lord, with peace that passes understanding. Our readings are from Judges and Acts, like yesterday. The judge is reading. That night the Lord said to him, Take your father's bull, the second bull, seven years old, and, bull down, and pull down the altar of Baal that belongs to your father, and cut down the sacred pole that is beside it, and build an altar to the Lord your God on the top of the stronghold here in proper order. Then take the second bull and offer it as a burnt offering with the wood of the sacred pole that you shall cut down. So Gideon took ten of his servants and did as the Lord had told him. But because he was too afraid of his family and the townspeople to do it by day, he did it by night. When the townspeople rose early in the morning, the altar of Baal was broken down and the sacred pole beside it was cut down and the second bull was offered on the altar that had been built. So they said to one another, Who has done this? After searching and inquiring, they were told Gideon, son of Joash, did it. Then the townspeople said to Joash, Bring out your son, so that he may die, for he has pulled down the altar of Baal and cut down the sacred pole beside it. But Joash said to all who were array arrayed against him, Will you contend for Baal, or will you defend his cause? Whoever contends for him shall be put to death by mourning. If he is a god, let him contend for himself, because his altar has been pulled down. Therefore on that day Gideon was called Jerubbaal, that is to say, let Baal contend against him, because he pulled down his altar. Then all the Midianites and the Amicalites and the people of the east came together, and crossing the Jordan, they encamped in the valley of Jezreel. But the Spirit of the Lord took possession of Gideon, and he sounded the trumpet, and the Abiezrites were called out to follow him. He sent messengers throughout all Manasseh, and they too were called out to follow him. He also sent messengers to Asher, Zebulun, and Naphtali, and they went up to meet them. The Gideon said to God, in order to see whether you will deliver Israel by my hand, as you have said, I am going to lay a fleece of wool on the threshing floor. If there is dew on the fleece alone, and it is dry on all the ground, then I shall know that you will deliver Israel by my hand, as you have said. And it was so. When he rose early next morning and squeezed the fleece, he wrung enough dew from the fleece to fill a bowl with water. Then Gideon said to God, do not let your anger burn against me. Let me speak one more time. Let me, please, make trial with the fleece just once more. Let it be dry only on the fleece, and on all the ground let there be dew. And God did so that night. It was dry on the fleece only, and on all the ground there was dew. The reading from Acts. One day, as we were going to the place of prayer, we met a slave girl, who had a spirit of divination and brought her owners a great deal of money by fortune-telling. While she followed Paul and us, she would cry out, 
These men are slaves of the Most High God, who proclaim to you a way of salvation. She kept doing this for many days. But Paul, very much annoyed, turned and said to the Spirit, I order you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And it came out that very hour. But when her owners saw that their hope of making money was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace before the authorities. When they had brought them before the magistrates, they said, These men are disturbing our city. They are Jews and are advocating customs that are not lawful for us as Romans to adopt or observe. The crowd joined in attacking them, and the magistrates had them stripped of their clothing and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After they had given them a severe flogging, they threw them into prison and ordered the jailer to keep them securely. Following these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and fashioned their feet in the stocks. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly there was an earthquake so violent that the foundation of the prison's prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were unfastened. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself since he supposed that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted in a loud voice, Do not harm yourself, for we are all here. The jailer called for lights, and rushing in, he fell down trembling before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them outside and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They answered, Believe on the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. They spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all who were in his house. At the same hour of the night, he took them and washed their wounds. Then he and his entire family were baptized without delay. He brought them up into the house and set food before them, and he and his entire household rejoiced that he had become a believer in God. When the morning came, the magistrates sent the police, saying, Let those men go. And the jailer reported the message to Paul, saying, The magistrates sent word to let you go. Therefore, come out now and go in peace. But Paul replied, They have beaten us in public, uncondemned men who are Roman citizens, and have thrown us into prison. And now are they going to discharge us in secret? Certainly not. Let them come and take us out themselves. The police reported these words to the magistrates, and they were afraid when they heard that the Roman citizens. So they came and apologized to them. And they took them out and asked them to leave the city. After leaving the prison, they went to Lydia's home, and when they had seen and encouraged the brothers and sisters there, they departed. Quiet our troubled souls, O Lord, with peace that passes understanding. Martin Luther King Jr. said this, Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. Now we take a moment to lift up our prayers to God. Pause the video if you have many, otherwise we will take a short pause. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, some of us still ask for signs to know where you call us to go and who you desire us to become. Be merciful and reveal yourself to us in manageable ways, just enough to see us through today. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever God may send you. May God guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May God bring you home rejoicing at the wonders God has shown you. May God bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. Amen.